Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of the non cooperators We're back playing some more Deep Fear. So, what I discovered uh, while playing this game is, um, with the chemicals, is if I mix, I think it was, I don't even know, it was like 7 or 8 and 11. It, well, it explodes. I, hang on. 7 and 11. It's actually, oh, there we go. 7 and 9. I get, the, well, I've already made so many of them. Um, I get, oh, fuck me, what did I just do? Oh, th th that, okay. So... You can make the emergency kit with seven and nine, and I think it was four and four. You make the resurrection kit. I already maxed out all my all my stuff. Watch, here, hang on. I'll, I'll do it for you again. Four. Oh, that's five. It's not good. It just blows up. I think. A four and four. You create the resurrection kit. See? So, fun fact: if you guys actually want to play this game, and by the way, his birthday was October twenty fifth. So it's ten twenty five. Whoops. Let me try that again. Ten. Fuck. Ten. Ah, damn it. Let me see if it works, though. I doubt it. Oh, we made more. Okay, see? <laughs> it's multiple numbers, I guess. Ten. Damn it. What happens if I do 25? 26. Explodes. Okay, so let's try this again. Ten. Damn it. And I can't... I, I gotta do it one time with it. One at a time. Ten. So if I fuck up on that... Made an emergency kit. All right, let me see if I can reset with. Hang on, how many buttons do I have? Ten. There we go. Twenty-five. Two. Yay! We got it. Ten twenty-five. You created the in uh, insect 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 insect. Yeah, that shit. So we, <laughs> never mind. I I I never mind. Oh, lovely. He's he's dead too. Well, he was infected. Well, he was infected basically. I don't get it. Do these guys like release like some obnoxious fumes that are like poison up the air? Because for some fucking reason, every time these fuckers come and attack me, the whole entire area just goes off being like <gasps> type of thing. All right, so fuck, I completely forget where the hell we're supposed to be going. Honestly, oh man, I actually don't remember. Thinking a little bit too hard, actually. All right, so this, uh, I th what, did I, what the fuck did I make? I made some chemical where I don't know what it does. I was not paying any attention. That's my problem. So here I go, I'm gonna run around in circles like a friggin' idiot that I am. But hey, we got some. Inf uh, I was gonna say infinite health. Well, it's, I guess it's a way to make unlimited to stock up because eventually you're gonna have to like you know mix actual chemicals. Oh fuck me! I it just does actually run fully out of ammunition. I paused it. There we go. I don't want to use this. This, this gun uses up. It, it's it. Okay, well, first off, it's weak. Second, it uses up a lot of ammunition. There we go. Oh, fuck me. You don't fuck you. I don't care. I gotta find a station to, I guess, recharge my. Uh, ammunition. Let me inspect. Oh fuck! Uh, it's gonna let me uh. inspect that area. One. Damn it! Oh whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm dead! Oh my god! I didn't even notice what my health was like. Wow! I was not paying any attention at all. Holy shit! I'm an idiot, guys. Fuck! And we didn't save. Like, when was the last time we saved? It's definitely not gonna bring us back to where we last died, or there's no checkpoint at all whatsoever. It's basically, where did you last save your game? Yeah. Shit. Alright, so... We'll be right back. So... Gonna... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna skip ahead to where we last left off, mixing the chemicals, so we'll be right back. And we're back, after running all around, healing, uh, fully healing up, getting all the, uh, resurrection kits and everything, we finally, uh, have made the... That fucking thing. <gasps> And we gotta kill this fucker. You know, we don't even have to kill him. We just basically just get the fuck out of here. Because I don't wanna. I'm gonna run out of ammo soon. So apparently, that's a 
thing with the pistol. I thought the pistol would have at least had unlimited ammo. The only unlimited ammo that actually really do that when it comes to you that you actually the way how you have unlimited ammo in this game is the fact that you actually have to go back to those rooms where you can change weapons and do all that miscellaneous bullshit to pick up more ammunition. Right, these guys I gotta get rid of. Because he's he's in my way. And he's just a bitch. Alright, so I honestly have no idea where the home's supposed to be going. I didn't even take a look at what the hell that I that I made out of those chemicals. I made some cool shit. <laughs> Apparently, with uh, these two liquid compounds, I make a metal. Actually, that's, that's, that is possible. Two liquid uh, uh, chemical compounds actually somehow make some type of resin metal. But, let me see what, uh, whoops, what, 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 what do I have and what is it used for? And, and, hang on. Wow. It's, okay. I mean, I was expecting, like, more information to that, but, damn. Where the hell am I coming from? Whoops. I think... Yeah, I think it's the storage room. But I think that room is locked. I think that, yeah, I think it's gated off. I think. I don't know. Let me see. Okay, so I'm supposed to use that, and I pull the, pull the cord. And it releases a gas. And I see the laser grid. Okay, so... I don't have an option to have thermal goggles or anything like that. I basically can just see the laser grid. You've used the insectable. Oh, so it's poison gas, though. Okay. Okay. Because if I go through the lasers, the thing will lock down. Because I went... I do remember going through that, and it locked on me, which was BS. So now, I, now I have the uh, that thing to allow me to pass. Well, it doesn't even allow me to pass through. It basically just shows me the fact that there's lasers there, and they block you off. And in order to get through that, you got to pass through it. So that room is completely poisoned now because of that insectable thing. And here, I mean, I could just. I feel. I felt like I could have just used talcum powder and get the same goddamn results instead of using poison. Then again, I heard that talcum powder is now not good for you anymore. That if you inhale that shit, well, obviously if you inhale, it's not good. But now I heard that it causes cancer, or at least Johnson & Johnson's brand causes cancer, so... Fucking Johnson & Johnson. Holy shit. I mean, it's a rumor, or it's real, or... I I, I don't know. Holy crap, these nematode looking motherfuckers. Bastards. Fucking die! Shit, I'm gonna die soon here. Let me use this one. Since I got a lot of uh, a lot of that now. Ugh, holy shit! Damn it. Damn it. Gotta use another one of these. Yeah, I thought that was one, but it's a seven, actually. It's a really awkward looking seven. Dude, are you dead yet? Holy crap. Holy shit! Like, my god. Can you say boss fight? Aw, oh, come on, the air system is damaged and we must replace the IC chip. And I need a place to fucking save! Come on, this is not fun! The fact that you don't even give me an option to fucking save is bullshit! Oh, it does give me an option to save! Holy shit, that's amazing! At least we can, at, at least we can recharge that thing. And we can fucking save. Oh, man. So you know what? Fuck the air. I got air grenades for now. So finally we were able to save. Yeah. Okay. So moving on. Uh, pardon me. Something 
useful here. Oh, so these are those were dogs. So zombie dogs, and you have those nematode dog looking dog looking thing motherfuckers. I don't even know what the hell they were. Some weird ass shit. My god, this whole there, hang on. Technically I don't really need to use this. Yeah. Let me just uh how many air canisters do I have? Oh, I have twelve. Alright, so I'm actually doing pretty good in the air the uh, the air air grenades. So it's not too bad. Um, so that area is under so-and-so. There's a ladder over there, and there's an elevator over there, and there's a room over there. My suggestion is to... Let's go to... Let's go to the room, and then we'll go down... No, no, we get... I'm sorry, we gotta go up. So let's go to the... Let's go to that room, and then we'll uh, come back around and go to that, um... Uh, ladder. So where's that room? It's over here. Let's see if the room is locked. Uh, it's, it's unlocked, though. Okay, it's unlocked, so... Let's explore. Uh, the guard quarters. Okay, so I think here's a place where we can actually restock in, uh, weapons and equipment and ammunition. And hopefully, we're gonna get a new gun. I hope. I think. Maybe. I doubt it. Guard quarters. There's gotta be some control in here. Uh, deactivate the laser lock system. Oh, yeah! Get rid of that fucking thing, because that's a bitch. And we can hopefully get rid of that poison gas BS. So the laser lock system is deactivated. Unless that's. I don't know if that's for a, a different area. Hey, buddy. How you doing? You, uh, suffering from PTSD? I came to fix the a uh, AC, but what was that thing anyway? It must have been a nightmare. I'm pretty sure when I come back here, you're gonna turn into something that's not friendly at all whatsoever. Am I correct? I'm gonna be... I am probably correct. My health is half down, isn't it? I just noticed that. Let me, uh... Here, let me use an orange one, because I think the orange one will actually fully heal me up. It says it recovers a lot of your HP, and it, yeah, I think it's like half your... I honestly think it's half your HP, and I think the blue ones are a quarter of your HP, orange ones are half, and the red ones are basically your full. Alright, so there's nothing um, interesting in that uh, guard area, except the fact that I can actually deactivate the laser uh, lock system in the... Uh, I, I think it's in the, pr the previous room that we were that we were in. Holy crap, this... They, they really have got to fix this fucking thing. Um, air grenade? Because my, um, oh my god, what is a uh, cat thing that, I'm, that, that I have when I'm in my mouth? I forgot what, it, I forgot what it's called, honestly. It, hang on, what's it called? Regal, regulator. To, I think it's a, regu yeah, regula a, a breathing regulator. I'm, I'm just going to call it, because if I say a regulator, that's a regulator can, can, can be a, a mul multiple of things. So, a breathing regulator, yeah, I'll go with that one, so, oh, cutscene! John, what's what? happened to the big table? There was an accident. And you? I couldn't get How out because get of the air system damage. Look at this. Uh -huh. How did you even get here? And hello, Heidi, with a nice body. The virus! I found this cell from one of the creatures. It's the virus! And this is a mouse's cell with the creature's cell implanted. So it's kind of like the thing, it just mimics it, and then it expands. The creature cell is transforming into the mouse cell at an unbelievable speed. Transforming into the mouse cell. Transforming? Right. Yeah, but not to this a mouse, or something else. This cell into other living things, and copies their original characteristics. I've never seen anything like this. And then it turns to that, that's what, okay. I've seen it. A human turning into a creature. The transforming cell eats the original cells at a high speed, and eventually takes over the body. Cool. cool. Is there anything cool. that can stop it? it yeah, bullet to the head. Weak point. Bullet Something to the head. Has to be done, but there isn't <laughs> enough data. <laughs> You're infected. <laughs> Sorry, I have had this cold since last night. <laughs> You're You're infected. Cold. Have you been attacked by a creature? Oh yeah. Any other symptoms besides a cold? I've been attacked a couple of times. <laughs> really, no other symptoms. Bullshit, he's infected. Uh, am, I, am I being taken over, too? Yeah, yeah, most likely. I don't know, but it just hit me that you've been attacked and haven't changed. If you don't change, we may have a lead. Yeah, he's definitely infected. Um, 
You know what this game actually does r r remind me of because it's Sega. There's another game that Sega made. It's called Blue. Uh, I'll let you know the results. Blue Streak. I think. I think. And wait, is it Blue Streak or Blue S Blue Stinger? Blue Stinger. That's I what it's called. I have to get back to the CD area. That's also another good game, and I do want to play that. Okay, but to get out of this area, you have to go through the net lock. Actually, system. I think it's a sequel to this. Is it a sequel? And, oh, how do I, I do, do that? Know. You need the help of an MI area researcher. Yeah. Uh -huh. If you could operate the air system, I could help you. Cool. But we can't go out because there's no air. Awesome. Right. Oh. What about the chimpanzee? Anthony? There's a chimpanzee? Oh, that's I right. There was a chimpanzee. I'm worried. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> no, he's probably... Oh, my God. He's infected. That's going to be a boss fight. I'm going to fight the chimpanzee as a boss fight. Awesomeness. Um, okay, so... Glean, Glean's room? Glenn's room? Whatever. What, what the fuck's her name? Glena's room? Gina's room. I, I, I'm saying the G. Oh my god. I'm, fucking, I'm a fucking... I'm a fucking idiot. But usually Gina's spelled with an I instead of an E. But I could be... I mean, I guess it's spelled both ways. Who the fuck knows? Okay. So, I could be infected. So, that's cool. Um, but yeah, in the game Blue Stinger, spoiler alert. Um, you're also, you also get infected at one point. You need to find... And you need to make a cure for yourself. You actually... And what's really cool about it, again, spoiler alert, is you actually start turning more and more and more into one of the infected creatures, where you start getting, like, the, um, the, the claws and everything. They look similar to these guys. That's why I thought, like, oh, my God, Blue Stinger could be a sequel to this game, since it's also made by the same company, Sega. But let me, uh, I gotta research that a little bit more. But, yeah, what's cool about it is that you actually start turning more and more into the creature themselves, and you start doing their abilities. Like, you start climbing on the walls and everything. So, yeah, you're basically like Spider-Man, but in a fucked up way. Um, I might play that game. I don't know if I'll play it next or another time. Who knows? Whenever. So, but next time on the non-cooperators, we're going to continue with some more uh, Deep Fear. I'm actually really starting to like this game, this underappreciated game that no one plays on YouTube. I'm not, not too many people play it. Play, play it. At least they don't play the uh, the American, well, this is not the American version, this is the British version, the PAL version. Everyone plays the Japanese version, which no one can actually under, uh, translate, but here it is all translated and everything, so hopefully you guys are, are, are enjoying this. <gasps> We'll see you next time.